Hey guys and welcome back. So today's video is all about your workouts, how we're gonna intensify them together and how I'm gonna help you get to that next level. So without further ado, let's get into this video and be sure to give it a thumbs up which supports your galley. And let's get into this video, okay. So I thought it would be super helpful, let me know if it is, to provide you with five tips to really intensify your workouts. So whether you've hit a plateau, whether you're not seeing the results that you deserve to be seeing, or whether it is you're just simply just getting bored of the same routine over and over again, make sure that you continue to watch this video and I truly hope that at least one tip helps you along your fitness journey. Tip number one is I want you to ask yourself why is it you've clicked on this video? There surely is a reason why maybe you've plateaued or maybe you just don't seem to find your workouts that intense, which means that you may not be able to see those results that, like I said, you deserve to be seeing. So why is it? Is it because you're not following the set routine that you've been given? Maybe you're not being as consistent as you should be. Maybe you're not increasing the weights that you should be increasing. So that's what I want you to do. Ask yourself why. Once you've established that big question that trust me, sometimes I get really choked up answering because I just don't know what the why is. Once you have established what that why is, then it will give you the stepping stones of establishing what you then need to do and lay the foundations on how to improve your workouts, intensify your workouts and see those results. So we're gonna head on to the gym now. I wanted to show you exactly what I mean as well by intensifying your workouts, not just talk about it, but physically show you. So we're gonna head on over to the gym, get a leg workout in. I'm gonna stop with each exercise and show you how you can intensify your workouts. Let's get to the gym. So you're in the gym, you're about to do your routine, but I want you to stop first of all. Tip number two is to pre-exhaust. And essentially what that means is doing about 20 reps before your working set. That can be body weight or you can completely decrease the weight down, really fire up those muscles before you go into your working set. So for example, I'm about to do some goblet squats with a 20 kg weight. So that's gonna be my weight for my working set. But before I do that, I'm gonna do 20 reps, just body weight, really, really fire up those muscles, and you're also gonna exhaust the muscle just before you get into your working set. So, let's do it. Also, I need to put my hair up. <laughs> So I did 10 reps. It's gonna be so much more difficult, so much more intense. Let me just go. <sighs> Woo, child! Okay, tip number three coming your way. Moving on to tip number three. So we started off with pre-exhausting to really fire up those muscles. Now another thing I want you to do to intensify your workouts is start incorporating supersets and triceps. A superset is essentially two exercises performed one after the other with little to no rest between the exercises. For this tutorial, I'm gonna show you two exercises that I'm gonna perform one after the other, both of them 10 reps, and then I'm gonna perform three sets. By you incorporating something like a superset or a triset, it's going to intensify your workout 
so much more. You're gonna push yourself to that new limit. And also another top tip that I want you to remember is when you are performing a tricep or a superset, you don't wanna go crazy with the weight. You wanna keep it at a neutral medium weight where you can hit that 10 to 12 rep range. If you're getting to six reps and truly struggling, lower the weight. I've always said this to you since day one, keep your ego out of the door. It does not matter how much you can lift. It matters whether your form is on point. And I'm always gonna stress that, I'm always gonna tell you that. Which is kind of ironic, because you'll see why on tip number four, but anyway. <laughs> Moving on to tip number four, and that is to increase your weight and not to be afraid to increase your weight. Now there's a difference between completely sacrificing your form just to lift a really heavy weight, and that's definitely not what I want you to do. But if you find that you're constantly squatting or hip thrusting the exact same weight over and over again for a very long period of time, your body will plateau. Your body needs to be tested and pushed to limits. Progressive overload is one of the best ways that you can increase lean muscle mass and you will see changes in your physique. So don't be afraid. So for example, if a program tells you to perform 10 hip thrusts, but you can do way more and go beyond that, you need to up that weight. But if you are getting to about the six rep range and you're finding it incredibly difficult, you need to lower the weight. I always say, if you can perform about 15 reps of an exercise, that means, unless the program tells you to perform that, that means that the weight is way too light. You gotta test yourself. You need to be getting to that eight rep range and actually struggling to get to rep nine and 10. That's how I personally determine that the weight is perfect for me or whether I need to go higher or I need to go lower. Also, I don't want you to be afraid to go heavy and then be like, oh wait, I actually can't lift that and then reducing the weight back down. Don't be embarrassed, don't be ashamed. You're going to the gym to change you and do this for you in a positive manner and make a difference for you, your strength, your ability, everything that I know you can and I know you deserve. So don't feel ashamed for reducing the weight down. Don't care what other people are thinking about you and I promise you now we're all in the same boat. Everyone's in the gym to accomplish one thing, to better themselves. So don't feel ashamed, don't feel embarrassed. Just do this and smash it for you. And I just wanna say that I'm proud of you and this is getting way too emotional, way too soon. But right, let's, um, <clears throat> let's get into the tip. <laughs> okay, bye. it maybe by one or two kg to begin with and then progressively overload. You don't need to be going crazy and whacking on 10s and 15s. That's a little bit too much too soon. Your body needs time to adjust and your body needs time to know what it's actually getting itself into. But with that being said as well, progressive overload is all about really waking those muscles up and telling them that they're about 
to work. So, moving on to the final tip. Okay guys, moving to tip number five. And I want you to start incorporating finishers or pumpers into your routine, which is essentially kind of the same thing. So a finisher will be maybe finishing off your workout with some hit. This can be sprints, this can be a circuit, whatever your heart desires. I personally love sprints. They're quick, effective, and although they're quite difficult to do for some people, you can truly practice to perfect it. So remember, it's never a rush. Take your time with it. Now also you can do a pumper, which means at the end of the workout, you can maybe do two sets of 20 body weight pumpers. That's frog pumps, hyper extensions, some body weight bridges, some kickbacks, whatever you want and fancy on the day. For this video, I'm gonna be doing just some frog pumps. My feet are gonna be placed together and I'm gonna thrust up, contracting my glutes before releasing back down. So let me show you how to perform a pumper. There we are guys, five simple tips that you can utilize next time you're in the gym and into your workout routine to intensify your workout so you don't hit a plateau. I really hope this video helped you. I really wanted to make it as simple as I possibly could so it doesn't make you confused and you don't feel overwhelmed with all of these tips and tricks that I'm giving you. Let me know if you do any of these tips in the comments below on whether they have helped you in your workout routines. Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and following your girl on Instagram. Comment down below for any future videos you'd like to see. I truly love you always and forever. Bye.